Today, June 3rd, 2022, I achieved one of the three primary objectives I set before the year 2021 started, which was to lose weight from 81 kilograms, 81 kilograms to 68 kilograms. Sixty-eight. I am no longer considered a fat man. I'm a man of my words. I kept my promise. Mm-hmm. My name is Hong Guan or Hong Guan in Korean. How are you doing? In 2021, I made a promise to myself that I'm going to have what I want to have. And I set them as my primary objectives. This was my primary objective number one, losing weight from 81 kilograms to 68 kilograms. I read from somewhere that the reason why many people fail to achieve their New Year resolution is because they forget to include the critical components. Those components were the why, the when, and the how. Many people would say, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, but usually that's pretty much it. There was a book I recently finished reading that talked about something similar. The book, Extreme Ownership, written by Jocko Willink, an ex-Navy SEAL lieutenant commander from the United States Navy. He explained in his book why it was important for his SEALs to know the why before executing a mission. Otherwise, since people are not robots, there is going to be some back-channel grumbling among the SEALs even though they may execute it. So I wrote down the why, the when, and the how on my notebook. This is the notebook I used in the year 2021 and this is what I wrote. I wrote Lose weight to 68 kilograms from 81 kilograms in 6 months, which is 2.2 kilograms per month, because I need to look presentable. And I broke down the task um, into smaller chunks. From 81 kilograms before the year 2021 started, so December December 31st, 2021, 81 kilograms. And I said, by January 31st, 2022, I am going to be 78.8 kilograms, and so forth. Why did I do this? Hmm. The best way I can describe it to you, besides that I wanted to look more presentable, is... hmm, There were some certain situations in the past that made me want to think about the things that I said out of my mouth and the decisions I made, from small ones to big ones. And I decided that I need to change. Those were unfortunate moments, but um, what can I say? I said the things that I shouldn't have said and executed the decisions that I shouldn't have made. But the future is more important than the past. So I broke down the task into smaller milestones and I set up the when, the schedule, to specify when I'm going to have what I want to have. For example, here, January 31st, 78.8 78.8 kilograms, February 28th, 76.6 kilograms, and so forth, to June 30th, 68 kilograms. And uh, this was my how. For the past six months, I did not drink alcohol or soda pops. I did not have fast food or pizza. I did not have any ice cream. I didn't even have a cookie. I just 
ran 10 laps of 366 meters every day, except the days when I was either ill or it was raining outside. At first, I could only run 4 laps without resting, and I really didn't enjoy it. I even made a video about it, but as the time went on, it became more like a routine, something you do. So, uh, yeah, that's how I lost my weight. Now, I just need to either maintain what I achieved here, or even better, I can possibly lose more weight. And uh, since, my, since the primary objective number one has been completed, as well as the primary objective number three, I just need to focus on achieving the primary objective number two. This one is going to take less time than the amount of time that I spent in the armed forces. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching and thank you for your subscription. I will talk to you later. Have a good day.